All research is about exploring. And in diabetes research, exploration is essential for understanding the causes of the disease, as this allows us to create a map to improve clinical care. What I love about genetics is the simplicity. If someone has monogenic diabetes, they have it because one of their three billion bases has been changed. And what that means is if we can find that one change, then we can understand their diabetes. Now, it may sound very difficult to find a change amongst three billion bases, but actually the technology and the techniques are improving all the time. So what's once seemed to be an impossible dream is now a reality. Over the past 20 years, Professor Andrew Hattersley and colleagues in Exeter have established the leading international centre for monogenic diabetes, performing first-class research. For his extraordinary contributions, Andrew Hattersley receives the 2016 EASD Nova Nordisk Foundation Diabetes Prize for Excellence. What our research has shown is that within broad clinical categories of diabetes, there are multiple genetic causes. And what that allows us to do is to use a precision medicine approach where we define the treatment according to the specific cause. One of our early discoveries was that mutations in the potassium beta cell channel could result in neonatal diabetes. What happened was that the channel was not closing in the presence of ATP and that meant insulin wasn't secreted and the patient had diabetes. The discovery of the role of these genetic mutations immediately led to the possibility that sulfonylurea drugs, which close the channel, might stimulate insulin secretion. A pioneer in his field, Professor Andrew Hattersley has a vision for how genetics and clinical care should go hand in hand. Gene discovery is the beginning and not the end. It's the beginning of improving patient care. And it's as if we're developing a map of how that care should be. And once we've created that map, then others can follow. <laughs>